That's the intersection of two crises right now that are unfolding in our country. The mainstreaming of hate speech, of racism, nationalism, white supremacy, and the easy access to military-style weapons and magazines. This afternoon, Governor Kathy Hochul signed two executive orders aimed at preventing potentially dangerous people from purchasing guns, as well as establishing a new domestic terrorism unit. The governor also asked the state attorney general's office to investigate the social media platforms that played a role in Saturday's mass shooting. All of this comes as the suspect in the massacre at the Jefferson Avenue Tops is set to appear in court tomorrow, which is the same day that funerals will begin for some of the 10 victims. Good evening, everybody. We begin our team coverage this half hour with the three announcements made by the governor this afternoon in the wake of that mass shooting. Governor Kathy Hochul says the most serious threat we face as a nation comes from extremists inside our own country, and New York hopes to help reduce that threat. Channel 2's Dave McKinley is here now. Dave? Mary Alice, it is a multifaceted approach aimed at, among other things, attempting to ferret out domestic terrorists, possibly take action against social media platforms and additional forms of gun control. Neither of the two signature gun control measures initiated by her predecessor, Andrew Cuomo, the SAFE Act, nor the Red Flag Law prevented this massacre. So Hochul insists further measures are needed. I'm more interested in preventing crimes and acts of violence than afterward arresting people and doing the cleanup of it and fixing laws. I want to make sure we're being more proactive. The existing red flag law allows judges to have guns seized from those found to pose a danger to themselves or others and to order that they acquire no more, but only if a petition is brought before the court. Hochul is ordering state police to automatically file such petitions if they have reasonable suspicion. You know, when the governor asks us the state police to do something, we're going to do it. So we'll make it happen in terms of the EPRO uh, mandate. And we, we apply for a large number of them anyway. But now with this clear direction, we're going to do it every time. The red flag law is in focus since it was revealed that last year state police placed 18-year-old Peyton Gendron under a mental health arrest after he reportedly said his post-graduation goal was to commit murder-suicide. After an evaluation, though, he was found not to be a threat. And after a background check, purchased the weapon legally under state law, which he allegedly used here in Buffalo. We're going to find out what happened there, but I will always say there's a better way to do it. There should be more clarity around this, and that's what we're going to be striving to accomplish. The governor is also aiming to increase the types of firearms banned in the state, but will need legislative approval for that. And Hochul also wants the attorney general to investigate social media companies utilized by Gendron and determine if they can in any way be held accountable for his actions. That's something Attorney General Tish James already says she's willing to do. Governor Hochul is also ordering the State Division of Homeland Security to establish a new domestic terrorism unit, even though New York State already has a domestic terror task force established by the Cuomo administration in 2020. But as revealed on the Channel 2 Town Hall last hour, in two years of existence, it's never met once, let alone four times a year, as it was required to meet. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.